Hello everybody, this is Lance Seidman. I'm here on my Windows 7 HP laptop. Um, this video is, well, for the Locker Gnome community, which as you know is owned by Chris Perillo. But, right now I'm gonna teach you something that Microsoft most likely doesn't want you to know because if they did, we wouldn't be playing this hide and seek game. Uh, which, you know what? We have won. Um, anyways, let's start doing this now, okay? So what we want to do is very simple, and you've probably done it hundreds of times. Well, as silly as it sounds, I want you to go forth and create a new folder, anywhere you want, but I recommend using your desktop. Um, so we'll go ahead and click New, okay? Now you see the option for Folder, correct? Well, I think you do. So let's go ahead and click Folder. Okay, now our new folder is created, and as you see it just says, well, new folder. That's the, the default name and uh, most of the time you will, you know, change your folder name and that's exactly what we're gonna do. This is all part of the hack. You have to rename the folder. So let's go ahead and right click it. We want to go all the way down to where it says rename. Quite simple, yes? Okay, now it says new folder. So let's go ahead and remove the name. Now I'm going to assume you've already copied the string I told you in the beginning of the video or wherever you saw this video it should have the string um, which is basically that small line of code that starts with uh, God mode um, so I'm assuming you have it um, so it should be copied if not go ahead and do it because the next step is just not gonna work with that let's go ahead and right click the new folder okay and let's go to where it says rename and now the new folder name is highlighted again so we'll go ahead and right click and then we want to left click where it says paste now you'll see crazy looking characters that you copied it should all be there normally you would think it would not work but it definitely will now we have it saying god mode now that's just because what I've known it as um, you can change it to whatever you want um, but again I recommend that just for this tutorial but you can even go ahead and call it um, you know secret agent if you want it but again uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back to God mode okay so let's make sure that we have the dot to the bracket scroll all the way down and we're making sure we have the end of the bracket extremely important will not work now some of you notice this kinda looks like a registry key well that's indeed true um, and it's used as a setting so we're gonna go ahead now and click off of the desktop or you can go ahead and press enter on your keyboard but we're you know I'm just gonna left click anywhere off of the screen the blank area so now that I've done that immediately it's given that little system icon looking thing and it says god mode no space obviously as you see but now let's hover over it for a second before we even explore this see it says empty folder well that's indeed true but wait till we double click this okay but let's go ahead and double click or single click depending how you have your computer set up um, the good news is if you're a, normally a Mac user you're used to single click which God mode actually allows you to change it uh, to you know single click um, should you wish that to be done um, but of course you can go into control panel mouse and change that but we'll go ahead and double click in my case God mode Ta-da! Well, let me go ahead and hide my little icons here. You don't care about that. Now, as you see, a ton of stuff here, you know. And I recommend you really read what you're going to be clicking. Um, especially since these settings, you change them, it affects your whole computer and usually every single user account that's on your system. Um, and again, like I said, it's very important to read it. You know, for instance, um, here you have restore your computer to an earlier time. And as you see, you can create and format hard, uh, your hard disk partitions, which a lot of people ask me how to do. They also ask, how do you defrag? Which obviously you can do that simply by going to the start menu. And depending on your Windows version, it varies just a little bit. And then how to add new hardware, very important. Sometimes for some people, schedule tasks. Now that is great, especially if you're using a third-party backup tool. Um, 
sometimes it's great to just initiate that or have you know certain things start doing cleanups and whatnot. Um, view law uh, the event logs sometimes important. View the local services great, especially since some programs install things that should not or they think they should be, but I recommend <laughs> you disable them. Now, if you're like me, I hate autoplay. You can start or stop it and prevent that from happening. And like I said, back up your computer, restore data files and, you know, your computer from a backup. Change many things here. Windows credentials, um, you know, set the default programs for when you open it, um, and even set uh, a file type in a specific program to launch it. Um, and then you have your other things, install a gadget, uninstall a gadget, and, you know, add a clock. Very basic things. However, not many people know how to use it or, well, they just don't know where to find it. And a lot of people say, oh, go Google it. Well, a lot of people don't know exactly what they should be saying to Google, um, which, let me tell you, happens a lot in my life. I can't tell you how many people I know ask me, well, well, what do I tell it? Um, anyways, and you see you can adjust your display. The ease of access center, which is great for people with disabilities and people just with bad vision. Um, you can change the way your keyboard works, your mouse works. Um, change the narrator voice, which is good for some people because it's hard for some people to understand. Um, and you can even uh, set up a tone for when you press on your buttons, just like if you have an iPhone or I think Windows Phone 7 does it too. Uh, when you push a button, it makes a little click noise, lets you know that you actually pushed it. Um, we could go ahead and really quickly look, and as you see, there you go. You can test the settings by typing and whatnot, um, but we're not going to go ahead and play with that. Um, and so you can have combo keys. Not everybody has those fancy uh, keyboards where they come, you know, with press F57 and, you know, uh, Facebook will load in Firefox or something. You can, you know, create your own combos, um, which is great. Um, and a ton of options in here. Look, even optimized for blindness. Gosh. Um, folder options, very important sometimes. Fonts. Again, people don't always know how to install fonts, and this allows you to change fonts, see your fonts, and so on. Um, even shows you how to transfer files from another computer, which is very important if you buy a new computer. And again, people, not everybody knows. You know, I wouldn't get half the work I do if people knew. <laughs> um, change the way Windows searches. And then you have your internet options, you know, very important. Um, you have your keyboard blink rate, which I don't recommend anybody changing that, no need. Location and other sensors, very important, let me tell you. Um, I don't always like me being able to be tracked through websites unless I allow it. Now, some browsers, you know, automatically say, oh, would you like geolocation? And, well, you know, I don't know. I don't always trust it, to be honest with you. Um, there's always a way to bypass things. Anyways, and you have your mouse options, look at that, you know, things that you normally would know how to do or you'd have to download another program to do and, you know, it's just right here. Definitely take a look at this, I mean, restore your computer or reinstall Windows, you know, great, you know, uh, again, really good, you know, speech recognition, don't buy that Dragon Natural Speak, Windows has it right there. Just set up your microphone, and if you got a laptop, normally it's built in and usually near your uh, little camera. And start speech recognition. Use, uh, you know, your voice to type. Why not? Not a lot of programs accept it. However, the great thing about the Windows uh, voice recognition, you, you say show numbers, and if there's a certain screen you want to close or, let's say, icons you want to open, you just say the number, okay, and it'll open it. Um, then again... Like I said, here's your stuff. You got multiple computers. Rename this computer, you know? Rename it so you know what computer is what, you know? Get into your device manager. Make sure Windows knows of all of your devices plugged in. Sometimes you can have a heck of a time uh, having a Windows machine that, you know, 
not all of the devices are known or uh, recognized and the drivers are installed. Um, usually you can see a yellow with the black exclamation point. That is not good. You want to change that. It can cause sometimes serious issues. But here you are with your taskbar and start menu. You know, in troubleshooting. Very important for a lot of people. You know, not everybody knows how to troubleshoot. Now you can. You know, and a lot of questions I get, how to create an administrator account. Administrator, pardon me. Um, you know, obviously you go into, you know, start uh, control panel, user accounts, and create it. But here you are, easy access. You highlight over it, it tells you what it is, or you just read it. Um, and link your online IDs, which is great if you have a Hotmail slash live account. And, uh, you know, here's everything. And always make sure your guest account is off. I don't care what anybody tells you. Turn it off now. Um, and here's window def Windows Defender. You know, always scan for spyware. Even if you have another program, just scan. Here's the Windows Firewall. Allow certain programs like your video games that a lot of time um, don't work. You know, uh, that can help you quite a bit, you know quite a bit and Windows updates change it don't change it so now you know go ahead and try it play with it be very careful know what you're doing before you make any changes and uh, that's it please uh, you know check out lockergnome.com it's really a great site anyways have a good day and safe night and hope this helped bye